Welcome to another Nova, Nova Plays. Um, back on Red Dead Redemption 2 this time. And this is just going to be another... That's about half hour, I think, I'll do this uh, video. And it'll just be another video of me playing uh, Red Dead Redemption and just talking random shit over it. Just to let you know. Alright, so this is right after where I left... Uh, I did the last video, and uh, Jack's back. Not too interested in that, because there's just going to be people singing, and yeah. It's my bed in this place is actually in the house, for a change. So I'll head up there, say hello to Sadie, or Molly. Is that Molly? No, that's Sadie. You okay, Sadie? Sure. You boys did good. Well, we got lucky. Did good. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right, I'll do it. Catch you later then. Alrighty, let's move up here. Get some sleep and then go straight on to the next mission. Uh, morning, five hours. Yeah, I'll do. Yeah, I'm just looking to play some. Uh, so I can't remember what the next mission is. I know, r I remember roughly what you do in this part of the game, but I can't remember which order they come in. I know it's all just one series of like fuck ups after another, um, as is the story of this game, really. It's the quickest way to get down the stairs I know of. Just jump down them. Alrighty, so... Hosea? Is that Hosea? I think that's Hosea. Yep, that's Hosea, alright. Hosea Matthews. Mr. Matthews! Can I see you for a second? Alright, what do you want, Hosea? Hosea? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we sure as Oh, of course he has the party. So we're doing this? Oh yeah. The old friend Dutch Van der Linde is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Yep. And so I have to change the outfit that I chose myself and quite like into this awful like tuxedo. When I first played this, I was quite I, I was maybe quite annoyed if I was like stuck like this. Because a few missions do ask you to go to like the tailor and change uh, you know, your own accord. No, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find some. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Sounds like a smart policy. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. I mean, I wouldn't like guns at a party with alcohol and cowboys. Please, gentlemen, a senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. That's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come on, and I Italians. A beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. 
Senor Napoli? As long as the man behaves himself, you know. Uh, Mr. Brante, he has a uh, thing, you know. Uh, respect. Respect. You join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. Come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Yes. Respect. This is a pretty nice house, I will say that. But it is the mayor's residence, so of course it's going to be nice. The mayor's not going to live in a crap heap. The angry cowboys who arrived, and you've washed for the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. This is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. Politics is a foul business. <laughs> oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fusar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he... Comes here to whore and despoil himself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I kill him later. Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley. A, a Confederate major in the war. I and mean, a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Well, none taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Mm, Good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money. Of course. Yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, manifest. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. In such uh, matters. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. To San Denis. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Yeah, there's a lot of missions like this in the game. Um, not necessarily the shoot em up missions, like you'd expect, because I remember okay. the first Red Dead being oh, pretty much that. A lot of the missions either being about um, collecting horses or just or cattle and so on. And lo the rest were just like train run. robberies, Bill. shootings. Gunfights and so on. Busting people out of prison. 
This this one seems a bit more relaxed, you know. You're more uh, you're just a bunch of you're more into like the criminal activities, blah blah blah. Um and just cons. Uh, which are pretty fun, I'd say. Um if a little slow at, th at times. And I have heard people complain about the gameplay. Um saying it's a bit like finicky, but I quite enjoy it. Um didn't find it too difficult to master or get used to. Uh there's one or two things. Um you know, like I'd go to talk to someone, forget which button was the aim and which one was the chat, and end up shooting the clerk by mistake or you know, stuff like that. It ain't complex, and you, and only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you, Mikulo? All right, out you go. Arthur Morgan, train robber, wanted criminal, bouncer. can still put on a good show. Do you know every Miller? My lord. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, they're fantastic. Excuse me, brother. Excuse me, brother. Uh, monsieur, please. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass, and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Let me say something about Cornwall. Yes, find out what. Leviticus Cornwall. Okay, so... Follow the servant and remain undetected. There he goes. You'll never know I was here. I'd be like a shadow. His shadow. Stay back from the. Oh, yeah, that's gone. Didn't have a chance to read that. Um, yeah, this isn't actually a pretty hey. bad mission. Got some stealth to it. Uh oh. Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Look at me. Look at 
me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, Miss Kate. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. He's clearly a ladies' man. All right, follow him up there. Yeah, th I bet this doesn't look creepy or strange to anyone out there who's looking in. What's that guy doing? Lurched over, like hunched over, following that other guy. And I'm like, nothing at all. Leviticus Cornwall. Right, so yeah, the overall in the game, I think this is about the halfway mark. I'd say it's about chapter four. Beginning of chapter four towards the early parts. So I'd say it's about the halfway mark, because there's a lot of, I think this is a pretty big chapter. And uh, there's only like two left, so there's you know, five and six left. That's the epilogue. And I probably should have given some warning before I said that, just in case someone uh, who's watching this hasn't played it before. I know that. I think so. No. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think. Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find now? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, man. I think I found out how we can grab some of it. Big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Yeah, I can't get those. Here comes Lenny. All right. They cost me a pretty Let's penny. Get in. <coughs> Go home. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. 
I'm gonna go and you hear that quite a lot in this game. Thing, one more big score, about. Arthur. Okay. One more big score. Ah, good old Jeff Bridges. Can't quite remember who voices Dutch, but I'm just gonna call him Jeff from now on. Right, so I'm pretty much gonna call it a day, I think, uh, with this stream. I know it's only been about 20 minutes, but I uh, wanted to make it short and sweet and just chat basically when I'm playing some of the game. Thank you all for watching. Uh, if you check out the mega, I say this every episode, but if you check out the message at the bottom, um, I'm trying to get three s followers per stream. And if you just check out my Twitch, um, it'd be very, uh, be very helpful and very appreciative if you could uh, leave a follow. And if you're watching this on YouTube, which you most likely are, remember to like, comment, and subscribe in order to try and get you know, more viewers and uh, get more feedback for the video. And that would also be very appreciated as well. Um, and in benefit of following me on Twitch is that you'll be able to get notified when I do streams like this because I plan on doing these a lot more regularly now. I've already done a few and um, you can join in and put messages in the chat and I can talk to you when I play the game. Thank you all for watching and ta-da! <coughs>